hello guys welcome to another video today i'm going to show you how you can get hdr plus 90 fps on any ipad or iphone so you can get um, smooth plus 90 fps on low end devices and hdr plus 90 fps on high end devices so for starter what you need to do is go to settings of your ipad or iphone and then click on whatever name where it shows your name click on that and then click on where it says find my click on that and where it says find my find my ipad make sure you have it turned off like i do and after that go ahead and open up your pubg mobile and what you need to do once your pubg is open you need to go to settings and then go to graphics and right here what matters is um, you can select smooth HDR HD balanced whichever graphic setting you want so graphic is basically the quality of your pictures so you can select whichever one you want from here and let's say if I click smooth it gives me 90 FPS but I want to play HDR with 90 FPS I'm basically going to show you how to do that so let's say I selected HDR and it's right now giving me ultra frame rate so basically what I'm going to do is get 90 FPS over here. So once you will do the same settings for lobby and combat and make sure your auto adjust graphics is off. And once I have done that, I will go ahead and click OK. OK. And that's all what you need to do in your PUBG for now. And you can go ahead and close it. So once that is closed, uh, you are going to go ahead and connect your iPad or iPhone to your laptop or computer and right here on your computer you will need a um, couple of different applications like uh, iAmazing is one of them so you can just go to Google and type iAmazing and uh, can type iMazing there we go and go ahead and go to iMazing and you can just download it for free and use the trial so you also need WinRAR um, you can also get it from Chrome just go there and type in WinRAR and get that download that download WinRAR click on that and you can get that and the other one is your hex editor that you will need to edit your files, your actual PUBG files. So, so to use that, you to get that, you can just go and type this and download. There you go. And this is basically the link where you can download it from. You can get the English version from here. So great. Uh, these are the tools you need. Once you have all of them installed, go ahead and open iAmazing and you can click on continue trial and you can see that since my iPad is connected, it's already listed here. What I need to do is go to apps and right here I will see all of my apps. So I'm going to right click on PUBG and click extract app. Click that and it says I want to extract it on desktop. Okay so it it's just telling me okay this is what it's going to do click okay so right now you can see that i amazing need to back up the entire device to extract data it can take a while so i'm just going to go ahead and click backup now so now this this step might take a while but it's one time step so you do not need to worry about it it's only one time so i am going to fast forward here and make sure it goes through real quickly So right here you can see that the iAmazing uh, backup is successful and the app is extracted and you can see this file right here. This is the file that uh, it have extracted. So what you need to do is basically click on right click on it and then go to rename and where it says iAmazing app remove this and replace it with RAR R -A -R, and click enter. And it will give you a warning that are you sure you want to uh, rename the file extension just click yes 
and there you have it now just double click on it and you will see there is a container folder here and then go into documents for some people this documents folder might be empty this is uh, something that have to do with certain iOS version on Apple try to update your phone and upgrade your phone to the latest iOS version and see if this works for you if not let me know in comments below and I will see how I can find a work around it so click on shadow tracker extra go to saved and now in here you can go to save games and this is where your active.sav file is so right here this is your active.sav i'm gonna click on it drag it to desktop and now you have it right here i will go ahead and open it with xad which is basically a hex editor and there you go you will have it open right here let me make it a big small a bit smaller uh, come on right here so it's open now I'm gonna go ahead and click on search and click find and I'm going to select all right here and where it says search for in all caps I'm gonna type FPS and I will click on search all so now right down here you can see that there are three options like it found three different values with FPS so if I click here you see it says FPS right here and then there is these three selected but if you look you will have to look around a bit and you will see there will be a line where there will be zeros and only one value so like this line here these are all zeros and only one five here so if I select this five zero five you will see that this dot it's is selected which is somewhere in the middle uh, property and player so that's what you need so you are gonna right click on it select it right click on it and click fill section so 05 basically means ultra frame rate which it was not letting me go over ultra like you see when I selected in the beginning when I selected HDR it was not letting me go over ultra so I want to get 90 FPS so to get 90 FPS I need to change 05 to 07 right here and so it's the extreme frame rate is 06 ultra is 05 90 is 07 so depending on whatever frame rate you want you can type that value here and I will click OK so you see that turned red that's what we want now I will click on the second one this is the second one same thing if you look at this line all the zeros and only this 105 and I know I'm looking for 05 because my frame rate that what I selected in settings that was ultra so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and go ahead click fill session and see it's already 07 typed in I'll click OK and there you go you have that now on to the next one same thing I will look for zeros like see these are all zeros and this is the only one that's zero five and it's also somewhere in the middle of these two words so I'll click OK fill selection zero seven okay now just to double check the first one see somewhere in the middle of these two words is zero seven second one same thing somewhere in the middle of these two words and it's zero seven and the last one same thing again zero seven in the middle of two now I'm just gonna go ahead and click save and I can close this now once I have saved it now I need to click on this file it will create this uh, active.sav.bak file which is basically a backup so don't don't copy this only copy this active.sav file and copy it over here and when you will copy it here you will see that uh, make sure it's selected where it says add and replace files and then click OK boom there you go that's all what you need to do for this part you can go ahead and close this and I will come down here and rename it again 
and again we are gonna change the name from roar to i amazing app right and it says are you sure you want to change it click yes and there you go this is your i amazing app now just click on it drag it over to pubg and click there and it say i amazing will restore application data and reboot your device and you can click restore now there you go and it will take you know, some time i'll be right back so now it will ask you to enter the password on your ipad that's what i'm gonna do right here on my ipad there we go and all i need to do is enter password and then just wait do not do anything on your iPad or iPhone. Now, since it says the restore is complete, I can go ahead and unlock my iPad. Or you can unlock your iPhone and I will click continue and continue. And once it, this is where it will ask you if you want to um, Restore the iCloud from iCloud backup like you want to copy apps and data and that's basically what it's saying right here Make sure you do not want you do not do that. Just click on don't transfer apps and data and enter password for your ID and That's how you get 90 FPS plus HDR on your iPad and if you find any issues, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer as many questions as I can. Do try it and let me know as I, and as I mentioned, some people might not see uh, anything in documents folder. Make sure you try to update your iPhone or iPad and then retry it. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Bye.